So look, uh, welcome everybody, as you heard, um, this is indeed um, the residence of the British Ambassador to Vienna, that's me, uh, Lee Turner, so, um, so welcome to all of you. We're very lucky in having this great facility here, and it's always wonderful to be working together, the embassy here in Vienna and the embassy in Berlin, putting together a regional program in this incredibly important area. Um, health 4.0. Um, the topic that we're looking at today, digital health, is enormously topical. I was in Graz yesterday talking about the future uh, of the economy and health is right at the center of that. We have fundamental research in medical science, groundbreaking technological developments, seizing the world's imagination, driving economic development, dealing with populations which are aging. Everything from mm -hmm. genomics, synthetic biology, tumor immunology, imaging, radio oncology, 3D printing, robotic surgery, um, it's like I'm reading the Financial Times every day. Um, really important, not only in the UK, Germany, Switzerland and Austria, but across the whole of Europe. And we have these new data processing technologies revolutionising the sector, new opportunities for early diagnosis, development of personalised medicine and of course remote diagnosis and treatment. All the results of this are enormous breakthroughs. To quote the British Secretary of State for Health and Social Care, Matt Hancock, he talks about uh, innovative technology having the potential truly to transform healthcare for patients and for staff. The UK, what's the role of the UK? Well, it's quite a hub for life sciences and is home to some of the world leading companies in this sector, including GSK and AstraZeneca. We have the National Health Service, the NHS, arguably the world's biggest health institution. And of course, the life sciences industry in the UK is immense. It's a great pillar of our economy, contributing over 70 billion pounds of turnover every year and employing over 241,000 scientists and staff in the UK alone. We also have, of course, the government's, the British government's industrial strategy, which has the health sector as a core part of it, including <coughs> digital health. That was published in December 2017. I'd strongly encourage you to have a look at that industrial strategy. Um, for many years, there was a view in the UK that you know industrial strategy didn't really matter. Um, and now it's come roaring back and is at the center of the way that we're developing our economy in the UK. And it's turned out to be a huge success. What about working with others? Um, I was reading the, uh, the uh, German, an Austrian paper called Der Standard today, and uh, there was an interview with a guy called Elmar Brock, who I know will be no known to many of you who are uh, dealing with EU issues, and um, he's retiring as an MEP, I think he's just turned 70 or 72. Mm -hmm. And um, he was saying, it's a great pity the UK are leaving the EU, because they've always been massive proponents of working together across the EU. This was Elmar Brock. I thought it was very interesting he was saying that. And it's absolutely true that the UK has been a huge force for innovation and collaboration on science and innovation. It follows that as we leave the EU, we are continuing to have as one of our core objectives to seek agreement to continue to collaborate with European partners on major science research and technology initiatives. The exciting field of future healthcare and digital health will give enormous opportunities for joint work in the area of research and future partnerships. That's why we're having this event today. We want to continue our strong science and research partners, partnerships with Germany, 
with Switzerland and with Austria in the area of digital health. And we will continue to contribute to research in the field of health across Europe. Just a few thanks before I hand you back for what looks like a, a rather good program. I'll say I've just been looking at this. Um, I'm a bit jealous because um, uh, it's a terrific program. And I see that some of you, at least, are going to the Gamoa Keller this evening, which I can strongly recommend. Uh, any of you who have not been to the Gamoa Keller, that's an excellent place. I was told off for kissing somebody there back in 1985. Um, so, um, so just no kissing, OK, tonight. Um, but no, you've got a, you've got a fantastic program. Uh, I think it's going to be really interesting. Um, I'm delighted that you're here. I'd just like to say a few words of thanks um, to the uh, UK SIN network, which is not as much fun as it sounds. That's the Science and Innovation uh, Network. To the UK Department of International Trade, DIT. Um, to Babel, uh, which we're work who we're working with today. To the Fraunhofer IAIS and to the Austrian Research Promotion Agency, all of whom have played an enormous part in organising and supporting today's Health 4.0 Forum. So look, have a, have a great day. I wish you every success, and uh, I'll hand back to the organisers. So good luck today. Thank you very much.